yeah hello everybody and welcome back and we'll be continuing with our previous class and previous class we have already done on, already done a few templates i think at least five templates already we have finished and now we'll be today we'll be doing another templates um, from the same form templates i think uh, this one will be okay. so uh, let's just go and uh, add a new form template Today we are doing a uh, detail from master. Details from master is a uh, it's a master form from like uh, your customer or vendor. Like previously we have done a list space, right? So on the list space we list out all our customer or vendors. So when a user clicks to our uh, opens when he clicks on a certain customer, it, it will open another form, and that form will be our uh, detail master form. So let's just open and we will create a new product master detail. Product style master detail form. And the template you will skip as none. Okay. And on the data source, I will drag this one. And on the design side, what we will do is we have a action pan header and action pan tab home. We have then we have one, two, three, four button group. Okay, so in the tab view, in the tab page detail, uh, what we will do is uh, uh, info header, uh, info header we don't do now. Okay, let's just go and uh, add a header uh, general tab which uh, caption is general so let's just add um, our field over here first i will take item name and item name and item id okay i will put it to general tab okay All right. so first save it and now uh, let us have a look on it okay this is our general tab right and we have item ID. Let's add, add another tab. We can add another tab over here. And uh, we go to over here and add a new, new tab page. And on this tab page, uh, let me move it to down. And let me call as a person as a date. And I will pull my two created ten time date over here. Okay. So save it and open it. So now we have a date. Right. So let us add another one tab. One more tab. Tab page and let me move it down. Now let me call as a price and on the here, right? I will add a barcode and price. This. And let me add a barcode also. Save it. So now we have a T3 uh, tab page, right? General and date price, right? So this is a, actually would be a detail. So when a user click a list page and opens, uh, it will open up. Uh, another form will, will be our, this form, right? So when they click on the our list page, we have at least shown our, our item like so when the user actually clicks it or edit it, it will open up our master detail form. So we can edit over here. Okay. So now let us add another tab over here, one more tab, a tab page and we call as a 
status. Let's, uh, let's move it down. Yes, sir. Status and I uh, put as uh, active and product status over here. Save it and open it. Okay, now we have uh, active and product status. So if we edit it, Okay, now you can also edit. Okay. So, uh, we have already created uh, one form, which is our uh, master master form for our product. Right. So, let us uh, just design and let us And the uh, design, I uh, will give a name Product Master. Save it. So we have a Product Master over here. Right? So I think uh, this much for this video guys i think hope you understand we have already created a list page and when we click on the item on the list page we will be opening at this form and that will be on another other few more classes that are still to go so uh, till then you just practice this one and thank you thank you for watching